With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is, figure shows a uniform meter rule placed on a fulcrum at its midpoint O and having weight 40 gram force at the 10 cm mark and a weight of 20 gram force at 90 cm mark. First is, is the rule in equilibrium? If not, how will the how will the turn? How will it turn? And how can the rule be brought in equilibrium by using an additional weight of 40 gram force? Okay. So let's solve the question. See, first of all, if I talk about the equilibrium condition, whether the meter rule is in equilibrium or not. So first of all, see this 20 gram force block will be having a force downward direction and the direction of the movement will be clockwise, okay. And this 40 gram force will also have a downward force and the direction of movement will be anti-clockwise, okay. So if I find anti-clockwise movement, anti-clockwise movement. Okay. Moment in anti-clockwise direction is force that is 40 gram force, 40 gram force, okay, into the perpendicular distance. See, the axis of rotation is at 50 centimeter mark, okay, and the 40 gram force block is at 10 centimeter mark. So, the distance, perpendicular distance will be, the force is downward. So, the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation will be 20, 30 and 40, that is, uh, uh, 40 centimeters okay so the perpendicular distance will be 40 centimeters so I can write 40 okay so it will be 1600 gram per centimeters okay so anti-clockwise movement will be 1600 gram per centimeters and if I talk about clockwise movement clockwise movement it will be force that is 20 gram force force into perpendicular distance that is 40 okay so it will be 800 gram per centimeter. So the body is not in equilibrium. It will rotate. It will turn in anti-clockwise direction because the anti-clockwise movement is greater as compared to clockwise movement. So the body will body will turn in turn in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Second part says. If a, if a block a uh, weight of 40 gram force is brought in equilibrium by using a if the rule is brought in equilibrium by using a additional weight of 40 gram force so first of all the weight should be placed on the right hand side okay because the right hand side movement is less than the left hand side movement okay so the block should be first of all placed on the right hand side so it so that it produces a moment in clockwise direction okay now let us say the block is placed somewhere here okay and the force is 40 gram force and let us say the distance from the axis of rotation is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation is x centimeters because that force will be downward okay so i can write it as anti clockwise movement equals to clockwise movement okay so anti clockwise movement is 1600 and clockwise movement is 800 that is of the first block plus the new block that we have added will be 440 that is force into perpendicular distance we have supposed it x okay so it will be 800 equals to 40x so from here we get we get x equals to 20 centimeters okay so it should be placed at a mark of at a distance of 20 centimeter from the axis of rotation so the position will be 70 centimeter mark okay so so block should be placed block should be placed at 70 centimeter mark okay where should be placed on the 70 centimeter mark thank you i hope it's clear to you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today